Hi guys, and thank you for visiting my channel. In today's episode, I'm going to talk about my favorite, fish fertilizer. And I'm going to show you how I mix it, when and how often I apply it. And I will show you some before and after pictures and videos of my vegetable garden and some of my hibiscus. And the very fun part, I'm going to give you an update on my big green leafy plant from the first fish fertilizer video. And the first thing you should always do, because stuff tends to settle on the bottom of the bottle, is to shake it very well, uh, very hard. I already did it about 30 times, and it's ready to go. And for established plants, both just decorative plants and my tomatoes, cucumbers, peppers, that are in a raised bed garden and in containers, I do one tablespoon per gallon of water, and because this guy here holds <coughs> This guy here holds about a gallon and a half. I'm gonna do about a tablespoon and a half. And it does smell very bad, so always make sure to mix it outside, even if you have to water indoor plants. And uh, your house, it's not gonna stink. I've done it with uh, seedlings in the winter, and it didn't stink up the house, so you don't have to worry about that. And uh, always add the fish fertilizer first, and then add the water, this way it's easier to mix it. And I always apply the fish fertilizer in the evening when I'm supposed to be watering my plants. So if I'm gonna apply the fish fertilizer, I do not water them that night. And what I do is I just pour it around the base of the plant and let it soak. So with about a gallon and a half, I watered seven tomato plants and seven pepper plants. And now some before and afters. This tomato seedling wasn't given fish fertilizer and this one was. These are beefsteak tomatoes and you can see the difference. And here is my hibiscus plant, which looked really, really bad about a month ago. Uh, now it's growing a lot of new leaves, healthy looking leaves, and I was watering it with fish fertilizer, uh, the same thing, once every about 10 days. And it's finally starting to look good. But uh, the picture that you see on the side is my hibiscus a month and a half ago. And this is actually another pretty big surprise. Uh, this cucumber plant, you can see it in the picture on the side of the screen. I lost some uh, cucumber seeds into my raised bed garden. I couldn't find them because I didn't have my glasses, but I guess they started growing and you can see them in the picture. And I pulled them out just to throw them out and then I felt bad for them. And I stick them right in there two weeks ago. And I was giving the plant a lot of fish fertilizer because I was worried that these two are not gonna survive because I totally tore the roots by pulling them out of the raised bed garden. And this is the biggest surprise of all. This is the plant from the first fish fertilizer video. So, but it not looking well, not looking well, not looking well, doing okay. Then I added the fish fertilizer and I got this leaf. And then I continue giving the plant fish fertilizer and this is the new leaf. And this is the new leaf. Take a look. It hasn't opened fully yet. But take a look at that thing. It's bigger than the one before. Absolutely beautiful. And a couple of pieces of advice. Always follow the directions on the back of the bottle. Don't do more than what it recommends back there. And don't mix it with Epsom salt. It's not gonna work. So that's all good old fish fertilizer. And if you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. And if you have any questions, put them in the comment section below. Bye!